In this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step on how to build a completely interactive and automated stock portfolio dashboard in Google Sheets. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that Google Sheets is one of the absolute best tools that you can use for tracking your investments. I'm going to show you why by showing you exactly how this portfolio dashboard works. Now, we can see down here we have two main tabs. We have our portfolio dashboard where we're tracking some metrics and some charts here. And then we have our holdings tab where all of our investments here are listed. And like I said, this is a completely automated portfolio tracker. So let's say that I bought stock in Verizon. So I'll list Verizon stock ticker here. We'll say I bought 10 shares of Verizon at a price of about 30 or we'll say $40 a share and hit enter. And we can see all this data is going to fill in automatically. We have things like the current price of Verizon, our costs and our market value. We can see the days change for Verizon and we can see our dollar gain and growth over time. We have our one year trend line. We can see the dividend payout for Verizon and the dividend yield for Verizon. We can see our dividend yield on costs and how much yearly dividend income we're going to receive from them and what industry they're in. So if we jump back over to our dashboard, we can see all of these metrics have updated automatically. We can see our portfolio values higher portfolio gain is higher, portfolio gain percent, and all of these metrics have changed as well. And if we look at our charts, we can see Verizon is now listed here on our cost versus market value chart. It's listed here on our percent gain chart, and we can see Verizon listed right here on our diversification, and it is taken into account on our total gains and losses chart. So like I said, this is a completely interactive and automated portfolio dashboard, so it is extremely useful. And I'm gonna be taking you step-by-step -step on how to build this entire portfolio dashboard. If you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. There you can also download any of my other portfolio trackers or investment trackers, crypto trackers, or my ultimate stock valuation spreadsheet. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, so we can see we have a completely new spreadsheet open. I'm just going to come up here to the top and give this a title. And I'm just going to list here portfolio tracker, but you can go ahead and list whatever you want. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and list out a few items that we're going to want here. The first one is our symbol. We're going to want to know the shares that we bought and we want to know our purchase price. Okay, so I jumped forward just a little bit and I listed some random stocks and a random amount of shares and a purchase price for each of these stocks, as you can see right here. So here's my data that we're going to be working with again. Once you're finished, this is the only data that you'll ever have to insert for your portfolio dashboard to be completely automated. So now we're going to want to see things like the current price, our cost basis, and the current market value of all of our investments. We're going to go ahead and list out a few more things. We want to see things like our days change. We want to see my dollar gain. And we want to see my growth as a percentage as well. And now one of the things that I also want to see is my one year trend line. And then we're going to want to see some dividend metrics as well. So I want to see things like the dividend payout per share, the current dividend yield of this investment. We want to see things like my yield on cost. And I'm also going to want to know exactly what my yearly dividend income is from each of these stocks. And then the very last thing that I want is I want to know what industry that these stocks are in. And so those are all the metrics that we are going to be tracking for our investment. So let's come back over here. And to find our price, we are going to be using the Google Finance function, which you can see right here. And this is a powerful function. It's going to allow you to pull in a lot of stock data, but you can see essentially I'm just going to click on whatever is in cell. Um, let's see, I think that's cell A4, which is Apple. And then I drag this down and now it's currently listing the current price for each of these stocks. So you can see just how powerful this Google Finance tool is. Let's come over here and give this some outer borders just so we have things separated. And now for our cost, all we're going to do is we're going to take our shares and multiply it by our purchase price. And that's going to allow us to see our cost basis for each of these positions. Now for our market value, what we're going to do is we're going to take the number of shares and multiply it by the current price of each of these stocks. And so now that we have both of this data in, we're going to be able to see things like our dollar gained and our growth. But first we want to see our days change. And again, we're going to use the Google Finance function for this. We'll select Apple, add a comma, and in quotations, we're just going to type out change. And here we're going to hit enter. So that was change percent. And then once you have that in, you divide it by 100 and you can see you're going to be able to see your days change as a percentage. And now we're going to move on and look at our dollar gain. 
And all we're gonna do for dollar gain is something very fairly simple. We'll just take our market value and subtract by our cost basis. And now we can see our dollar gain on each of these investments. But now we wanna see what our growth is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our market value and subtract our cost out of it. And then we're gonna divide it back by our cost. So once we do this, you can see we have a pretty large decimal number. So we're gonna highlight all of this and we're gonna come up here and change this to a percentage. And now we can see our growth of each of these investments. And now I wanna see something that's pretty cool function and it's the one year trend line function. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type out Sparkline and then within that we're gonna type out Google Finance. And essentially we're gonna make a Sparkline of their one year price. So I'm gonna select Apple right here and I'm gonna list out price. And with a comma, we're going to list today, open parentheses, minus 364. So that's saying we want the price from 364 days ago, comma, all the way to today, open parentheses. And we'll close this off. And now you can see we have a one-year trend line with each of these stocks. And the cool thing is if we weren't wanted to make this larger, we could do it just like that by merging these cells. We're just going to keep it one cell for now, and I'll drag this down. And once it loads, we can see we have our one year trend line for each of these stocks. If you're interested in any of the Google finance functions, I have a video on that on my channel. But the next thing we want is our dividend data. In order to pull this in, we are actually gonna web scrape in Google Sheets. I have many videos on how to do this. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. But essentially we're gonna pull this data from finviz.com. And I'll leave any of the more complicated formulas in the description down below if you struggle with any of them. But if we come down here, you can see if we come down right here, we can see it's listing, listing the amount paid in dividends for Apple. And that's what we, want, what we want to web scrape into our spreadsheet. So because I've already gone over how to do this on my channel, I'm just going to copy and paste this formula in right here. Again, I'll put this in the description so you can just copy and paste it into your spreadsheet. And here's the formula right here. But you can see with this formula, we can automatically pull in the amount paid out in dividends for each of these companies. And if we check, we can see it's correct right there. So let's go ahead and come right here and we'll drag this down for the rest of these companies. And we can see the dividend amount will automatically be pulled in. So now that we have the dividend amount for each of these companies, we can pull in things like the current yield, our yield on cost, and our dividend income for the entire year. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna list out this formula here for our current yield, which you can see, we'll drag that down. Now we want our yield on cost. So we're gonna do that same formula, but based off of our cost so we'll take our original purchase price for our yield on cost. And let's go ahead and change each of these to a percentage. And now what we wanna do is we wanna see how much dividend income we'll make over the course of a year. So we take the amount paid out for each share and multiply it by our number of shares and hit enter. And now we can see how much each of these companies will pay out per year in dividend income. And the last thing we want is our industry and we're actually gonna to have to web scrape this in once again. So I'm gonna go over to Fidelity Research We'll search for Apple right here and I'll click go. And if we scroll down here, we should be able to see the industry listed. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, so right here we have the sector information technology and this is what we wanna web scrape into our spreadsheet. And again, I'm just gonna copy and paste this formula in as it's a pretty complicated formula, but I do go over how to do this on my channel. I'll leave the link to those videos in the description. I'll also post the, um, the formula to each of these in the description as well. But you can see, once I plug this in, we have the industry listed for each of these companies. So you can see just how powerful Google Sheets is when it comes to pulling in financial data for your investments. Because now we have all the data that we need to build out our dashboard. I'm just gonna do some quick formatting here. And if we scroll back over here, let's go ahead and fix that. I'll pull this out just a little bit. And if we come here, we'll highlight this top cell. We'll go ahead and add a little color. I'll give it a gray color. We'll add some borders as well, just to kind of separate things out. And we can bold that text if we click right here. Now, if we highlight this whole thing, I'm gonna come up here and add some borders once again. And if we highlight all of this right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some conditional formatting to our day's change, our dollar gain and our growth. So we'll come here, click on conditional formatting. And we wanna say that anything that is greater than zero will show up green. And then we'll add another rule and we wanna say anything less than zero will show up red. And I'll click done. And so now we can easily see how each of our investments has performed over long periods of time and over the past day. So we can see at the time I'm making this video, it's a pretty red day for the market as most of the stocks are down. 
So let's go ahead and just add some color here. We'll add some yellow. We'll add yellow to our one year trend line as well. And then we will make our dividend data color just a little bit different, just so it stands out a little bit more. And then we're gonna color in our industry data as well. And so now we essentially have all the data that we need to fill out our dashboard. So you can see, I'm just gonna come down here and we're just gonna title this, title it whatever you want, but I'm gonna list portfolio holdings right here. Let's go ahead and add another tab and we're ready to start building out our dashboard. So I'm just gonna title this dashboard right here. And let's go ahead and jump over here. And the first thing that we wanna do is we're just gonna do some quick formatting right here. So let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. And if we come here to the top, we are gonna highlight these cells and we'll merge this and give it outer borders. And we're just gonna give our dashboard a title right here. So go ahead and title this whatever you want. Again, if I'm moving too fast, feel free to either slow down the video or rewind and leave any questions in the comments below. But I'm just gonna center this text here. We'll increase the font size, maybe increase it just a little bit more and okay, so now we're gonna come over here and we are gonna create a section to have some of the metrics that we saw at the beginning listed out, like our portfolio value, our total dividend income, and our total holdings, and just a few other metrics like that. So you can see all I'm doing is I'm merging these cells and giving it outer borders as well here. So it can be a little repetitive, but I'll show you a quicker way to do this in just a moment. But you can see essentially, like I said, we're just merging these cells right here and giving it outer borders. And so just a couple more. But one of the things you can do to speed this up is we can just copy and paste this here, as you can see. So I'm on Mac, so I push Control C to copy and then Control V to paste these. And so that's just a little quick shortcut to make that quicker. But let's go ahead and list out each of the things that we want to see right here. The first thing that we want to see is obviously we need a place to see our portfolio value. And so the first formula we're going to use is our sum formula. So we're going to do equal sum. And then we're just going to highlight all of our market value section right here. And I'll drag it down some. So that way, if you add more investments, you'll be able to automatically pull that in. But there we can see all of our portfolio value. And the next thing we want to see is our portfolio gain. And to see that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna select our total dollar gain right here. And again, I'll drag it down. So if we add more investments, it'll automatically be pulled in. So now we can see that as well. And then we wanna see it as a percentage as well. So we'll come over here and we're gonna add another formula. We're gonna use the sum formula to start out. We're gonna select our dollar gain here. And then we'll close this off. And we will simply divide it by our cost basis. And okay, let's see, it looks like there's a problem. And okay, we forgot to close this off here, so I'll do that. And if we hit enter, it should work this time. And okay, so yes, it's working correctly now. So now we have those three different metrics. Let's go ahead and add these three other ones here. And here I wanna see my yearly dividend income. As a value dividend investor, I think this is something very important to see in any dashboard, but all we need to do is select our dividend income right here and you can see the formula listed up top once again. And now I can see my yearly dividend income. The next thing I wanna see is my portfolio's dividend yield. I think that's something else that is extremely important for everyone to know and to be able to see. And again, we're gonna add a formula, we're gonna do equals, and we're gonna take, in this situation, we're gonna look at it based off of our cost basis. But the first thing we need is our dividend income and we wanna see the sum, so I need to add that formula here. And then we're gonna divide that by our cost basis. So essentially this is gonna be our dividend yield on cost. And 
And now we can see our dividend yield. Let's make this a percentage. And the last thing that I wanna be able to see is the total amount of holdings in my portfolio so I can see exactly how many stocks are in my dashboard. So we'll come back over here to portfolio holdings and all we need to do is we'll use the count function and we'll highlight all of the symbols listed here. Again, I'll drag it down and it looks like it's not working. Let's do a count A formula and that should work. And I'll hit enter and okay, so we can see that is now working properly as well. So let's go ahead and highlight all of this and just add a little bit of formatting to this. And I'll just center this text and we'll come back to that just a little bit later and add some more formatting. But the next thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my first chart. And in order to do that, I'm gonna highlight all of my symbols. I'm gonna highlight all of my cost and highlight all of my market value. And if I come up here and click insert and click on chart, takes just a second, we can see I have a chart automatically load in for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the format of this chart over here. Now we can see my cost versus market value. So I'm gonna copy this chart and we'll come over here and paste it onto our dashboard. And we'll list it right here. And I think this is a very important chart to be able to see so you can see how your investments are performing over time, obviously. So let's go ahead and remove this chart from this page and add our next chart. And again, we're gonna highlight our symbols and now we're gonna come over here and highlight growth. So we're gonna be able to see how each stock has performed over time growth wise as a percentage. So we'll come up here and click on insert. We'll click on chart right here. And we'll copy this chart here and we will paste it back over onto our dashboard. And we'll try to line it up properly, but we'll do some more formatting later on. And the next thing that I'm gonna to wanna to see is again, we're gonna highlight all of our symbols. And then we're gonna highlight the market value of each of these stocks. And we're gonna come up here to insert and click on chart. And this time I wanna see it as a way of looking as of diversification. So we're gonna click on our pie chart over here. And we'll copy this back over to our dashboard once again and I'll paste it. Now we can see how much capital and what percent of our total capital is in each of these stocks. And I'll try to center this just a little bit. And we'll do just a little bit of formatting right here. And now we just have one more chart that we wanna add right here. And in order to actually add this chart, we're gonna to have to add one thing to our portfolio holdings tab. So we'll come over here and remove that chart. And essentially we wanna know if each of these trades is a winning trade or a losing trade, meaning is it a trade that's caused us to gain or lose money as of now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an if statement. We're gonna say if our dollar gain is positive, we're gonna say we want it to list a W, and if not, we're gonna want it to list an L. And I'll show you why we're doing this in just a moment. But once we have this formula written out, you can see right here, we're now gonna have a W and a L listed by each of these investments, as you can see right here. And so what this is gonna allow us to do is if we come over here and add another tab, I'll drag it over here. This is just gonna be a worksheet tab to add this last chart. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to come up over here and we're going to type out total wins and then we'll come beside it and type out total losses. And essentially I want to list all of the investments that have caused me to gain money right here. So we'll come over here and we're going to use our sum if formula. We're going to highlight starting right here. And so we're saying if these investments have a W listed beside it, we wanna add their dollar gain. So I'll come here and select dollar gain now. And 
And so now we can see every single investment that has gained money for me right here with our sum if formula. We're gonna do the same thing over here with our total loss amount. We're gonna do a sum if formula once again. And so we'll come over here to our portfolio holdings. We'll highlight this. But this time we wanna say anything that has an L, we wanna add our dollar gain amount. So anything that has a negative dollar gain will be added right here. So now we have our total win amount and our total loss amount listed out right here. And with this data, we're gonna be able to make our last chart. So I'm gonna highlight this right here. We'll click on insert. We'll come up here and click on chart. And we need to do a little bit more formatting. If we come down here, we can select stacked. And so this is the format we want for our chart. So now we can see the total amount of gains and the total amount of losses with this chart. So let's go ahead and copy this chart and we'll bring it back over to our dashboard tab. And so now we have essentially everything that we need on our dashboard tab. We have each of our charts and we have our six different metrics that we're gonna be tracking from our portfolio holdings. So I'll just do a little bit of formatting right here We can see, feel free to format this however you want, to color it in however you want, but essentially I'm getting ready to show you how to do a couple of different things and I'm gonna jump forward and show you the finished product. But uh, this is how you color in a chart right here. You just select it, add the color right here, and essentially just color this in however you see best fit. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump forward and show you the finished product. Okay, so I have jumped forward and updated everything. You can see I've colored things in and done some reformatting. Let's go ahead and jump over to our holdings tab and make sure everything is working properly. I'm gonna take out this investment right here and we'll add Verizon in to make sure it's working. So I'll plug in their stock ticker. We'll say we bought 15 shares at a share price of $50 a share and hit enter. And we can see all of these metrics have updated automatically and even our web scraping metrics are pulling things automatically as well. Let's look at our dashboard and make sure everything has come in automatically as well. So we can see all of these metrics have jumped up automatically and our charts have updated automatically as well as Verizon is listed in all of them. So there you have it. That's how you make a completely automated portfolio dashboard in Google Sheets. There's so many more functions and capabilities that Google Sheets has. It makes it such a phenomenal financial tool. If you'd like to be able to download the spreadsheet, you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. There you can join my own personal Discord and also gain access to all of my other investment trackers, crypto trackers, and my stock valuation spreadsheet. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.